This is beyond an honor for me to um, introduce this gentleman as the Good Guy Award. And Good Guy um, does summarize Mark D. John, but it only does uh, a brief justice of who this gentleman is. First of all, to understand this gentleman's pedigree, um, DJ, as we call him, played and coached with Jimmy Leland, worked in, uh, with Ted Simmons, who's here tonight and, and now a uh, Hall of Famer, um, was on Tony LaRusso's staff for six years, played for Sparky Anderson, and was the right-hand man for George Kissel for 20 years. Um, that speaks volumes of who he is, but just because he has that experience doesn't make him a good guy. What makes him even beyond a good guy is the person that he is and the care he has for multiple things. The first care he has is for this St. Louis Cardinal organization. He just retired with 33 years. Um, I'm biased, and I'll lobby for it. And, um, it, but for me, this gentleman is a one day Red Jacket Award winner um, for what he's contributed to our St. Louis Cardinal organization. So it starts with the care of the Cardinals. Beyond that, he cares for our players. And he's touched our players, and he's touched them in a lot of different ways. And, and emotionally, um, of course, he's touched them in the way that they've learned how to play the game and, and understand how to play the game the right way, the Cardinal way. Um, and then I can speak to very, very closely. Um, He's been sincere about growing and helping us as staff members, me included. I'm not standing here today as the manager of St. Louis Cardinals, not even coming close without not only the advocacy of DJ, but the love he's given me, the tough love he's given me, and the care he's given me, and his um, willingness to care more about my career than his own. Um, this is a man that has an exponential unbelievable baseball knowledge, but he has more of a concern with sharing it to people in a heart for it. And the thing that I've always loved about him, and I do love him, and, um, you know, we're going to miss him quite a bit. I already do. But, um, you know, this is a, this is a gentleman that um, you can count on, and that says a lot. You know, this organization's counted on him. The players that have been blessed to be a part of his life have, have counted on him, and the staff has been able to count on him. And, and he's grown us exponentially. And um, ultimately, the thing you appreciate about him is he's going to tell you the truth. And he's going to tell you because you need to hear it. And he's going to tell you because he cares about you. And um, I don't know how this guy didn't win this award earlier, but you're talking about one of the best guys I've ever known in my life and my best friend and mentor and someone I love dearly, Mark D. John. DJ, how about that? Well, Go ahead and have a seat. Okay. Well, <laughs> don't hurt. Don't get hurt. Well, first thing I, w I really want to tell the people is I won this award legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> There's no recount, no investigation. <laughs> it's the real I deal. I won it. <laughs> and I, I, you know, let's, let's be honest, I deserve it. Okay? <laughs> so, the thing I, so oh, hold on a second, Rick. All right. The other thing I want to tell you is. You, have you ever met Lurio DeRocher, by the way? Uh, no, no, okay, no, go no, ahead. no. The other thing I just want to tell you is, you know, the Cardinals. Cardinals draw 40,000 mm -hmm. a night. I drew 600, not bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> pretty good. So thank you for coming out to see me. And, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed this. Go ahead, Rick. I have no doubt, DJ, that everybody is here to see you. But I, I got to ask you first, uh, what's your reaction to those uh, wonderful things uh, said to you about your dear friend, Mike Schilt? Well, Mike is... Um, He's, he's very special to me. And Mike is, I, I look at Mike and I'm so proud of him because I feel like Mike represents part of what I've given, given back to, to all the things that, that uh, were given to me. And what people, what people don't know is that a lot of, most of, what I gave to Mike, and uh, I gave him an opportunity. He coached for me, and I let him do a lot of things, and he took off with it. But uh, he is a, I, I gave him the information that, that George Kissel gave to me. But what people really don't know is a lot of what I gave to, to Mike Schilt came from one of the great baseball minds of the game, and that's, that's – uh, the next uh, Cardinal Hall of Famer, Ted Simmons. Ted, what Ted did for me and what Ted taught me 
and Ted taught it in a tough way because he was just he was just the he was a tough guy. But and but what he taught me is a lot of things that that I've passed on to Mike. And the only thing I told Mike, I said, "You're getting it from me, but if you really want to get it from the true professor, you need to you need to talk to Ted." So what Mike Schilt, the way he handled his bullpen is comes a lot from from what Ted Simmons taught to me and I passed on to Mike. I love what you say there, and Mike said it about you, that you're going to say the truth, and certainly that's something about Teddy. I asked some of your uh, players, some of the players that you have kind of brought up in development in the last week, what's the first word that comes to mind about a DJ? And I don't know what you think the first word would be that they'd say. Oh, the second word was he'll tell you the truth. That's more than one word. But right. the first word was funny. Yeah, And well, so I, I'm curious how that became part of your, and been around you long enough to know that that, that is who you well, are, DJ. H how did that become part of your developing a player? Well, and the, a first thing, the first thing is, I tell people, when I first signed, I signed with the New York Mets, and Whitey Herzog was the farm director. So I had a great start, because he was some kind of farm director. He was, he, Whitey was, he's, he's just great, just a great baseball man. But, you know, when you... Uh, when you hit 220 your whole life, you better be funny, <laughs> you know, and, and you better be a good guy. You can't hit 220 and be a jerk, you know. So uh, I did that. You know, <laughs> you laugh, but one year I, w I hit 205 in, in the New York Penn League in Batavia. You could look it up, 19, uh, 1972, and I was voted the most valuable player on the team. How about that? <laughs> now, you'll say, well, there's some pretty bad guys. No, I just... I was in, when they voted, they were laughing, you know, <laughs> so. Well, I, I've got to ask you now that, that you are. Uh, you know, you were only supposed to give me like three minutes. Well, I'm I've done give, nothing in my whole life in three minutes. I'm going to give you one more, one more shot at an answer here. Okay. Because I think this is important because you've been a part of the Cardinal family and all of us care about you and have known you again and, and just have a great heart for you and, and just it, already and, and thinking about going forward, what are the what's what are you going to miss the most about uh, your involvement on a daily basis uh, in baseball? Just the you know just the players and the people and and that that I worked with and, and worked for and uh, I'll I'll miss them as as far as the the game itself. I mean I love the game, but uh, man I'm 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 a big hockey fan, so I'm you know I. <laughs> I love hockey. I, I watch hockey on TV, and then I listen to the Cardinals on the, on the radio. Well, so, we're, we're glad you're connected, and we're going to be, uh, you, you know. Can I, can I say one serious you thing can. before? Yeah. And because this is my last, my last chance, because you, you're Do not going to see me again. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just want to tell you that in, for just what a great organization the St. Louis Cardinals are. And I've worked here for 33 years. And it's a lot of times they, you know, they would compare me to, to, to George Kissel and I don't even belong in the same sentence as George Kissel. But I just tell you, this is the, this is, you, you fans out there are so lucky, so lucky to have the owner that you have in Bill DeWitt Jr. You, he is a, he's a, he's a fantastic man. And I can, I can sit here and I'll tell you the truth. And, and it, because it's, my career is over. So it's not like he's going to give me a raise. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he is one fantastic gentleman. And, and John Mosellock, be, uh, uh, besides the, tie, the bow tie, because I, I, you know, I can't get through that. But <laughs> besides the bow tie is, a, is one, he's become an unbelievable friend. In fact, he called me recently, and he's, <laughs> I felt like telling him, I don't work for you no more. <laughs> and he called me, and he said, DJ, I need your advice. I said, really? You know, I was there. I was just there, you know, for, for 33 years. What do you, now you want my advice? <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, I talk to him more now than I did when I, when I worked for him. <laughs> and, and, uh, and then the other special guy in the organization is, is Gary LaRock. He's... he's He's one of my best friends. I, well, I tell him he's my best friend. I tell Mike he's my best friend. So, <laughs> now, now the truth is out. So you're, you're, you know. I but think. I anyway, think. this. I just want to thank Bill again, and I want to thank Mo and Gary. You guys are the best. 
And if you fans, I know, you know what I've been told? You fans have been spoiled. Well, Bill, you did it. <laughs> because since you took over, they've had nothing but success. And you're one heck of an owner. You're the best owner that I've ever been around. And I'm going to tell you something. When you walk down the hallway at the complex and the owner of the, of the, of the St. Louis Cardinals, and I've never had this in another organization, and I've been a few other places, will stand there and talk to you and ask you about players. And all I can tell you is when you can reach down, when you're at the top and you can reach down and touch the bottom, all I say, Bill, you'll never drown. <laughs> you'll never drown. So you, you are the best. Mark? And one, one last thing I want to say. I always say this one last thing. That's I want to tell you that. this. One of the guys that I, I – and I haven't said hello to him yet, but one of the guys – that I have, I'm, I'm so excited to see, and I will say hello to him before, is Will Clark. And I'm going to tell you something. That guy there is some, was some kind of player. Mm -hmm. And when he had the greatest half season, I mean, I saw him at, and, he, and he, I say that he saw him at his best, but he was unbelievable. He's a credit to the game. He's a great play. He was a great player. And I could tell you this about Will Clark. He did it the right way. Yeah. And Mark, I, I think everybody in this room can get a flavor for listening to you, and we can all say in it together that you did it the right way too, and we're so grateful uh, to be able to give you the Good Guy Award, and congratulations on a terrific career. Mark DeJean, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. That wasn't three minutes, but hey. You had to get your money's worth.